Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance, while others search for what they can take. A true king searches for what he can give. Now you have yeah. Mufasa, who is yeah. all about instilling integrity and compassion within Simba, and you know yourself as a yeah. father yeah, of right. teens. Like, right. what for you do you hope that they've gained? It's the theme and the and what the character Simba learns over the course of the film I think is important and you know each generation uh, has their stories and, and it's, it's nice for us and adults to enjoy this but really it's for the generation who's coming of age and the idea that Simba wants to be king and can't wait to rule everything and tell everybody what to do and nobody's going to tell him what to do and then as he gets older he starts to realize that no it's more about the circle of life it's more about it's a, it, it belongs to no one, but it's our responsibility to protect it and that you have to keep it going for the next generation because the circle continues. Mm -hmm. And I love how the movie starts and ends with the same images. And I think as I get older, you start to see that rhythm and that pattern. And I think part of what coming of age is about is understanding that you're not there just to take care of you. You're here to take care of those around you and those that have not yet come to be. And that's what I think the message of the circle of life is. And, and all this imagery, hopefully, and the music for sure helps celebrate that and plants that in the memories of, of the children who watch this and go on this emotional journey. Life's not fair, is it, my little friend? While some are born to feast, others spend their lives in the dark. Scar in particular was is um, always interesting to explore how shame and guilt are used as a tool. Mm. So maybe, how did you harness that sinister side? Well, I was interested in his, you know, in his psychology, you know, uh, and I, I think I always have been, you know, uh, right from seeing the original, you know, just how to get kind of underneath that sort of mindset. And, um, and, you know, obviously he's very manipulative and sly and cunning, but he's also very sort of damaged and has that incredible need for, for power and status and where those things come from and uh, and how they sort of run away from him, his, his obsession about having those things and what they lead him to, to do. And, you know, and as soon as you start the process, as, a, as Scar, you know, you do the one, the first dastardly deed, if you like, <laughs> Um, then it's out of your control, you know, then the, the wheels are turning. And so, um, uh, and so that was altogether kind of a fascinating character to play and fun to play. 